so here we are at the um, Google Christmas event with lots of Christmassy kind of things going on as they show us all the Google goodies that kind of come down the pipe for Christmas including wearables and things like uh, Hangouts and Chromebooks and so we're going to take a look at some of this and, and see what's interesting for this coming holiday season. So this is the Samsung Gear Live. Um, basically one of the first features you'll see is that it's all about notifications. So you see on the home screen, if I just touch the home screen now, swipe up, you see it's giving me a, a local warning. So if there were a weather warning in the area, it'll give me straight to my watch. If I swipe that over to the right, next thing um, is a Google Now notification about your dinner reservation. So if I've booked a dinner tonight, it'll, um, 7.30, just coming up to 7.30, it'll give me a notification that I have that dinner reservation. And that's working from your Google Calendar, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. So yeah, everything you've got in your calendar on your phone will pop up as an notification at the right time. See next up, I've got a um, if I had a flight. So there's a flight book in there. If I slope over to the left, it'll give me more information about it. So here I've got the boarding pass on the phone. Save so you having to get your your phone or your printed boarding pass out of your out of your pocket. Swipe again. Seat details, seat number, all on there. Straight on your watch. Can you change your seat from there? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck in the back of Ryanair yet again yeah. then. Right. Right. You book your seat while you're uh, waiting for the plane. So if you swipe off, keep swiping to the right and you get rid of that notification. Again, sports results. If You, you can select on your phone what notifications you want to get. Here we've got um, sports results for your favourite teams. Again, this is a US um, device, but if that were in the UK, then you'd have your local teams. And then weather, again, swipe off to the left and more information. And if you keep going, you can then open that on your phone, which would then, um, when you get onto your device, open It's like hiccup, we would say. <laughs> so um, next up, you can see here you've got the, the home screen. If I hold down there, it gives you options to change what the, the screen looks like. So customizable, um, whatever you feel like having on your phone, select that um, and makes you able to change the, the watch face. Um, also works with uh, voice search, if I touch on here once. Works with what? Voice search. Oh, voice search, okay. You're going to do so, voice search in this noise. Good luck. <laughs> so let me just try that again. Um, if I just press on here, and say, how tall is the Eiffel Tower? Oh, the same way I'm impressed. We do on your phone. Okay. Essentially, it's working here by Bluetooth. So, because your uh, phone is connected, it's doing exactly through that. Um, and so, I'll just swap it there as well. And then the final thing is uh, fitness. So, um, there is a um, step counter in here. So, if, as you're walking around, it will count your steps. You can see on the back of this device here, there's also a heart rate monitor on the Samsung device. So, it keeps track of your heart rate as well. And that also syncs with the Google Fitness app, which builds all together, gives you averages over your, your week. Um, and that is about it. That is the Samsung 169 pounds. And here we've got the LG for 150. And what's this one here? The LG G Watch. Oh right. 59 pounds. Okay. And which is the which is the are they both operate in the same way? Yeah. Pretty much. The, so just the little difference is is price, ten pound difference. This one has a heart monitor, um, but otherwise fundamentally similar work work in very way. Well, the same way. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Thanks very much. No worries.